During Israel's Neset winter legislative session on October 28, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu took a notable diplomatic stance, reaching out to Arab nations and reaffirming Israel's dedication to fostering peace with its regional neighbors. Netanyahu, addressing heightened tensions and the looming threat of confrontation with Iran, emphasized that Israel remains committed to strengthening alliances and expanding diplomatic relations with Arab countries, even amid mounting regional security challenges. He framed this goal as essential not only to Israel's strategic interests but also to regional stability, asserting that diplomatic progress with Arab states would continue regardless of escalating threats. Netanyahu's speech touched on Israel's recent military action, referencing the October 26 airstrikes carried out by the Israel Defense Forces IDF, on sites associated with Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, in Tehran. He described these strikes as a proactive measure aimed at neutralizing imminent threats to Israel's national security. Netanyahu presented the military action as a calculated response to the growing presence and influence of Iranian forces in areas critical to Israel's security. By addressing the strikes directly, he highlighted Israel's resolve in defending itself against perceived threats from Iran while reassuring the Israeli public that the government remains vigilant in countering any regional adversaries. This call for strengthened ties with Arab nations is viewed by analysts as a strategic attempt by Israel to create a unified front against Iran's regional influence. Netanyahu's appeal aims to harness shared concerns among Israel and certain Arab states regarding Iran's expanding military activities and influence in Syria, Iraq, Lebanon, and Yemen. As he emphasized during his address, Israel's diplomatic overtures are part of a broader strategy to form coalitions that can withstand the pressures posed by Iran's strategic maneuvers in the region. By engaging Arab nations diplomatically, Netanyahu envisions a network of cooperative relationships that can jointly address the shared threats posed by Iran's activities and support each other in maintaining stability. Netanyahu's message at the Neset also underscored a broader vision for peace and regional cooperation. He made clear that Israel's aspiration to strengthen ties with Arab states is not merely a tactical move but part of a long-term policy aimed at fostering an enduring and robust peace. By advancing dialogue and cooperation with Arab neighbors, Netanyahu hopes to counterbalance the instability brought about by Iranian-backed groups such as Hezbollah in Lebanon and other proxies in Iraq and Syria. His remarks also reflect Israel's understanding that peace with Arab states not only enhances its security but also opens opportunities for economic cooperation, technological partnerships, and cultural exchanges that could transform regional dynamics positively. The timing of Netanyahu's speech is significant, given the regional climate following Israel's October 26 airstrikes and subsequent Iranian threats. Israeli military and intelligence services have raised security alert levels, concerned about potential retaliatory actions from Iran or its affiliates. Netanyahu's speech thus serves a dual purpose, it is a reassurance to Israel's public of the government's preparedness and a diplomatic overture to Arab allies, seeking their solidarity and mutual support. By pledging to maintain and expand peace with Arab countries, Netanyahu signals to Iran that Israel is not isolated but rather backed by a coalition of regional players who also value stability and security. In light of recent threats from Iran's leadership, Israel's decision to bolster ties with Arab states reflects a shift towards regional coalition building as a strategy against Iranian influence. Netanyahu's vision of an Israel-Arab coalition aligns with recent developments where several Arab states, including the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain, have shown willingness to establish and deepen relations with Israel. This cooperation, facilitated in part by the Abraham Accords, is reshaping the geopolitical landscape in the Middle East. While Netanyahu's outreach aims to consolidate these alliances, it also signals to Iran that Israel is not acting alone and that any hostility towards Israel could invite a coordinated regional response. Netanyahu also acknowledged the broader challenges that Israel faces in pursuing peace, especially with the Palestinian territories and amid internal political pressures. He noted that maintaining peace with Arab states and focusing on external threats like Iran require a careful balance, as internal issues, including budget constraints and coalition challenges, add complexity to Israel's policy decisions. He reassured Israelis that the government's focus on Iran and diplomatic alliances with Arab countries does not diminish its attention to internal security and domestic priorities.
In conclusion, Netanyahu's Neset address outlined a comprehensive strategy for Israel's foreign policy amid escalating regional threats. His emphasis on peace with Arab states as a primary objective signals a diplomatic approach designed to counterbalance Iranian aggression while simultaneously strengthening Israel's security. Through outreach and coalition building, Netanyahu aims to not only stabilize Israel's position but also establish a regional bloc that can collectively deter threats from Iran. As he indicated, this diplomatic effort is as much about securing Israel's immediate borders as it is about paving the way for a broader regional peace that could transform the Middle Eastern landscape.